Winning comes in all shapes and sizes. Every day there's an opportunity for a win, just like scratchers from the Virginia Lottery. Every day grab-and-go, every day giftable, every day fun. It's where anticipation meets instant gratification. And they're satisfying to scratch, no matter the outcome. Like the new Virginia Lottery Scratcher Colossal Cash. It's loaded with $100 to $500 prizes. Now, that's an everyday win. Drive to the nearest Virginia Lottery retail location and pick up a scratcher today. Odds of winning any prize, 1 in 3.21. Winning comes in all shapes and sizes. Every day there's an opportunity for a win, just like scratchers from the Virginia Lottery. Every day grab-and-go, every day giftable, every day fun. It's where anticipation meets instant gratification. And they're satisfying to scratch, no matter the outcome. Like the new Virginia Lottery Scratcher Colossal Cash. It's loaded with $100 to $500 prizes. Now, that's an everyday win. Drive to the nearest Virginia Lottery retail location and pick up a scratcher today. Odds of winning any prize, 1 in 3.21. Is your head spinning trying to plan your wedding? Have an official Kid Nation DJ perform at your reception. Get your party started at RadioDJs.com. This is the Kid Craddock Morning Show. It's Monday, uh, so that means we have Love Letters to Kelly coming up this morning. You can write our love expert if you go to lovelettersokelly.com. We're also playing Beat the Bank Money Heist this morning. That's where you, uh, you're waiting for that alarm sound to go off, and then our accomplice will get in here, hook you up the code word that you'll give him so, so he knows he can trust you, and then you get in that vault and try to pull out as much money as you can. In fact, this morning, we're going to be playing between 7.40 and 8 a.m. Central. All right? Ooh, nice. That's, okay. that's the intel we got on the streets. And before we get to the gossip, a couple things about bugs that I got wrong in the first break. <laughs> Jude bugs. Those bugs that you see flying into everything, including you, probably, if you're outside, you just get these little poop. You get hit by the June bug. Yeah. Uh, I thought they were doing that because they're blind. That's what I've been told my whole life. Yeah. But according to the internet, they're not blind. They're just, they're just a guest by a bad at flying. Oh. <laughs> like they, chickens. I told you not to spout yeah. off stuff on this show. And ladybugs. <laughs> now I know where I got my facts from because there was a book. I found the book from my kid that says, what do you call male ladybugs? And they're still called ladybugs. But if you want to tell the difference, it's tough to do. You can. Usually the female ladybugs will be a little more orange. And then the male ones are super red, according to, oh. to that. Yeah. Okay. So, but but still, it's it, they say unless you have like a mic, microscope or you're a scientist, it's tough but to no, tell which uh, one the male can you, can, are. Can you just give the bug undercarriage a little? How's your father? No. Good luck. <laughs> so no percentage of more males than females. No, no. That was so just another fact we were just, spouting just, off that no, I mean kids are gonna. Well, thank God they're all sleeping in. I think yeah. I said most. Of, <laughs> they're not gonna go to school today. Yeah. That's just uh, what, they're not called, called male smallers. bugs. They're just called lady bugs if they're dudes as well. There you All go. Right. All right. What's what's going on with the celebrity gossip this morning, guys? Well, I'll tell you. Um, you know, Lord is back with new music. You know, uh, she was 17 when Royals was a huge hit mm-hmm. back in 2013. Whoa. <laughs> that long ago. Whoa. Wow. It does not feel like it was that long ago, no. does it? I know. No, not at all. But Billie Eilish, you know, she got really famous around the age of 17, too. So Lord feels like they are connected. We have sent just a few little um, messages back in the day when she was very young. She's so, so sweet. And there's only a handful of people who understand what that's like to be right. a teenager and, you know, have that level of scrutiny on your body and your brain. And, um, yeah, it's a specific experience. Obviously, she's very close with her family, as am I, which I think is really helpful at that uh, age when your world is changing. Um, And, yeah, I mean, the music is awesome. She's just doing such a good job. She's talking like a mother. (laughs) I'm so proud. Look at my little protege. (laughs) All right, so Will Smith talked to Kevin Hart as part of a very special Father's Day Red Table Talk. And Kevin opened up about cheating on his pregnant wife back in 2017. Again, that felt like yesterday. Time's mm-hmm. going really fast. And he also talked about how that affair affected his relationship with his daughter. Getting my daughter back, getting my daughter to understand that I was sorry, that I made a mistake, that was real. Mm-hmm. To understand, like, I'm still dad. You know, like you reading stuff, you're, you're so everything. This is a child, Everybody right? Does. Every child is the internet. There's nothing that you're going to come across that you're going to read that isn't going to have an impression. Yeah. A child, yeah. everything has a meaning. My daughter was tough on me until this day. Wow. Until this day, my daughter is tough on me. My daughter don't play no games with her father, man. Mm. Wow. 
Yeah. And I didn't know that was rough. And I saw the movie over uh, the weekend, Fatherhood. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I wasn't. It's on Netflix. I did cry a couple times. I Aww. will say it's excellent. Oh, I cried at the theater, theater too, Big Al. Really? What'd you see? I didn't see Fatherhood. I saw the Twelve Mighty Orphans. Oh, okay. that movie about the football team they created. Yeah, uh, with twelve kids with Luke uh, Luke Wilson. Man, okay. I, that one was. And I took my son because my daughter had a sleepover. It was one of the best movies I could have had my son watch. Oh, okay. I gotta watch it now. Yeah. It was awesome. Uh, and hopefully today I'll see um X let's see, what is it? Bodyguards. My, the body the but hitman's X, bodyguards wife. Uh, wife, wife. Wife's bodyguard. Yeah, that. Hitman's bodyguard's wife, right? Yes. I think the so. Hitman's wife's bodyguard. The hitman's, hitman's wife's, wife's bodyguard. That's, that's it. Yeah, yeah, One yeah, of those. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Ryan Reynolds is, is uh protecting the hitman's and wife. Samuel wife. Jackson. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Very confusing, <laughs> obviously. Confusing. Yes. All right, so round two. Keeping up with the Kardashians reunion was last night. Did you miss it? Yes. Yep. Me almost. Too. Yeah, yeah, I definitely. almost missed it, but I turned on the TV and there it was. On e, I was like, "Wow, golden hour. Well, Let's thank- do it." <laughs> I know. Thankfully, we have the Kid Credit Morning Show crew behind the scenes That's taking right. care of this, so they've got some sound bites for us. And they got in, the Kardashians got into the theory that men in the Kardashian universe end up worse off. And it's called the Kardashian curse, of course. And clearly the family is not a fan of that. What I don't like about this narrative, okay, and I, yes. <laughs> I'm very excited about this question. Okay, good. What I don't like about the narrative is that the blame is on us. Like, I think that they need to put, the like, the, the men need to take that responsibility. Do you know what I mean? Uh-huh. I think that we're all extremely giving and caring and loving women and when there is a man in our lives we like give everything to them and as a family we all love them so much and it's like almost like offensive i mean just personally well, i'm definitely saying definitely offensive women because women. they're right they're blaming women for men's problems but right. you don't hear a bunch of men on this couch and if the women weren't doing better like because the men are doing Let me just tell you, as Kanye is doing pretty well so okay. I don't I think that like you Travis also have two great. NBA <laughs> championships a Super Bowl what else I mean all these things well, yeah, that no, have, of course factually you can go down the factual successes of all the men yeah. Scott yeah. do you feel like you have a Kardashian yeah. curse no 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 no, no. no. Is the Super Bowl I, I, the Super Bowl champion? Is that Reggie Bush when Kim was dating De- Reggie? Was were they together? Oh, Super Bowl champion. I guess. Yeah, because so. he was with the. Yeah, she said two though. So who's the other one? Another Super Bowl champion. No, oh, she, she had, had two, two NBA, NBA championships. championships. Yeah, oh, that, NBA. Was, that was Lamar, and then Reggie Bush was a Super Bowl champ. Okay, I was, I was trying to put the, all those together when they were saying it. Yeah, I think, but you know, I think. Um, I, I think there's nothing to the Kardashian curse too. I think a lot of men can't handle the you know the the ego thing gets yeah, involved yeah. too mm-hmm. when you're Probably. dating such a successful woman. Yeah, and, and I'll agree that they are all in on their dudes when they're dating somebody. Yeah, yeah. they are one hundred. You've never seen a family rally around a a person when they come into the fold. You know, oh they, they always support them. Yeah. They're always accepting. As hard as it, they did the same for Good Black Lump China. Lamar. Mm-hmm. Look yeah. what they had to swallow to accept her in the family. All that yeah. nonsense. They gave her. A reality show and she screwed it up. Yeah. Oh, I digress. Anyway, Chloe Kardashian's appearance, it gets a lot of play in the tabloids, and most recently it's been about her nose. Everyone says, oh my gosh, she's had her third face transplant, but I've had one nose job, Dr. Raj Kanodia, and everyone gets so upset, like, why don't I talk about it? No one's ever asked me. You're the first person in an interview that's ever asked me about my nose. I've done Sure, injections, not really Botox. I've responded horribly to Botox. Do you think you are more or less insecure now than you were when the show started? When the show first started, I was very secure, very secure. And then during the first couple seasons, I became insecure because of the public um, opinions of myself. Then I had, I think, a good run of being secure. And then I think recently I've become now insecure again. Oh, man. Yeah. Mm, geez. Yeah, I mean, if what I was, a roller coaster. If I was photographed mm. as much as they are, I'd be changing my face all the time, too. And but it's like so every hard t- on her when she yeah. first came out. Yeah. Yeah. People and so when she, but when she posts on Facebook or when she posts on Instagram, we're always like, what happened to her face? That's not what she looks like. She photoshopped her legs. Her legs don't look like that. It's just constant, constant criticism on all of her posts on Instagram. Mm-hmm. And that's got to be hard. 
Uh, you, know, you know who else is getting criticism is Scott, and you heard him there in the first clip a little bit. Uh, well, Scott talked about his uh, very young girlfriends. Everybody gets this wrong that I look for young girls. Okay. I don't go out looking for young girls. Okay. They happen to be attracted to me because I look young. You tell That's him, Scott. That's what I'm telling myself. <laughs> That's what I'm telling myself. Uh, Scott. <laughs> That's... Oh, man. Also... You're probably wondering where was Rob because he was not part of the reunion. I know Rob is really feeling really good about himself right now and he's working really hard on himself. And so I think before he did something like this where he has to address probably the part that made him want to take a break. He can start fresh. Yes. Got it. Hmm. There you go. Yeah, I understand that. Yeah. yeah. He done. He, he done done. All right, so Taylor Swift's fans, I know a few, personally, <laughs> uh, they spent the weekend rejoicing at the announcement of her next re-recorded album, plus the ongoing drama with Chrissy Teigen continues. We'll give you the latest details next. We literally had one cast member's toe in another member's mouth, men in lingerie, marriage proposals, and A-list celebrity guests in the studio. Check out the videos of some of our most memorable moments on our YouTube channel, Kid Nation TV. It's the Kid Craddock Morning Show. Winning comes in all shapes and sizes. Every day there's an opportunity for a win, just like scratchers from the Virginia Lottery. Every day grab-and-go, every day giftable, every day fun. It's where anticipation meets instant gratification. And they're satisfying to scratch, no matter the outcome. Like the new Virginia Lottery Scratcher Colossal Cash. It's loaded with $100 to $500 prizes. Now, that's an everyday win. Drive to the nearest Virginia Lottery retail location and pick up a scratcher today. Odds of winning any prize, 1 in 3.21. Things I thought could never happen. Me, in a punk band? What? <laughs> we are Lady Parts, a new original comedy streaming only on Peacock. A confused mix of hash anthems and sour girl power. Syra, vocals, Aisha, drummer, Bisma, bassist, Mumtaz, band manager, and me, Amina, lead guitar. You were really good until you puked all over the front row. Ew. We are Lady Parts, all episodes streaming now, only on Peacock.